my name is Dhawal Pandav. I am from collegedunner.com. A very warm welcome to our interview series, which is called Thoughts on Education, where we interview with the various dignitaries such as owners, VCs, principals, HODs, and teachers. Before I proceed with this interview, I would request you to give a brief introduction about yourself, ma'am. Namaste. My name is Dr. Rajshree Trivedi. I have a background of English literature. I joined Manivin Nanavati Women's College in 1993 and thereafter I have continued my services in the same college. I rose to become an associate professor in English and for last four and a half years I have been the principal of this college and in past I have uh, performed my duties and played the roles of IPUC coordinator placement cell in charge, student council in charge and many other committees. Working at many men and out women's college, especially this being a women's college, has been a wonderful experience because the mission of the college is empowerment of women through access to higher education. So it's not only education, but the overall holistic development of our young women is also at the core of the heart of the institution and also one of my greatest passions. It was really nice knowing about you ma'am. So my first question is, being the principal at Manipen Nanavati Women's College, what are uh, your roles and responsibility and what is your philosophy of leadership ma'am? Thank you for that wonderful question. The roles and responsibilities. The principal is the head of the institution. She is the head of many committees of the institution. She is a bridge between the management, teachers, administrative staff, support staff, library, students, parents, teachers of course and the employment sector, the industry. Sitting at the fulcrum, the role of the principal is very important because she connects everyone. She coordinates with everyone, she connects, she ideates, she innovates and she sees into it that all ideas and innovations are put into real practice. And that role and responsibility becomes a very meaty role and a very responsible role. And I'm very happy that I've been able to do a good job with this institution, uh, especially the networking of people and consolidating the resources and giving the best to the institution. Uh, so this is regarding roles and responsibilities. So far as leadership is concerned, I have been a very strong follower of uh, Stephen Covey's uh, seven effective principles of effective leadership. I believe a leader is a person who makes leaders, who creates leadership. And that leadership element should be present and motivated and encouraged at each level, whether it's the housekeeping uh, personnel of the college or the teachers who are highly qualified in an institution. The role of the principal is to create leadership qualities among each and every stakeholder holder of the institution. The education system in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. In your experience, what an inbound students can gain by studying at this college? Uh, people generally think that in a women's college, subjects related to household and domestic chores uh, those areas are covered up, but that is a myth. Let me bust this myth. Uh, we are affiliated to SNDT Women's University, which is 108 years old. My college, Maniban Nanavati Women's College, has also completed 50 long years of its establishment. Along with SNDT, my college also offers all new age courses. For example, computer application, clinical psychology, counseling psychology, fashion designing, accounts, auditing, finance, insurance. So gone are those days when uh, those subjects like child development and food industry, which we offer in our college, they were uh, once upon a time uh, between the four walls of the house. But all of us know that both these industries, whether it is child care or whether it is food and industry, uh, nutrition, they all have become full-fledged industries in today's fast changing world and these subjects like economics or English literature or psychology or management studies they have really picked up the students also want these new age courses 
and the new ways of studying this conventional courses like food and nutrition or child development or fashion design. So the definitions have changed, the nomenclature has changed, the ways of teaching and learning have changed and this is what is very remarkable about my college. It's not only academics, yes of course academics are very important, but beyond academics, research, skill, internship, add-on courses and so many other ways of serving the society uh, so far as community service is concerned. It is in these fields that the students develop leadership qualities and that makes my college different from other colleges. If you talk of international colleges and university, I have been to many universities abroad, the Stockholm University and many other universities. I have seen that the teaching learning process is very focused there. It's more focused to academics. But at Maniban Nanavati Women's College, we offer a wide array and range of personality development opportunities also. What do you think should be the university's top priority over the next 10 years? Employment. Employment and industry institution interface. If we are going to empower our students with education, the end result should be they should be financially independent. Employability, whether it's employability in terms of taking up job or being self-employed. The university's foremost priority and my college's foremost priority is also to encourage uh, financial independence by way of employability. What do you see as the greatest strength of Moneyman Nanavati Women's College? Sorry? What do you see as the greatest strength of... My best practice, okay. My best practice is uh, which I initiated after I took over as principal is skill development. Not only job related skills but life related skills also. Skills to interact with people, skills to handle various kinds of people whether it's your place of work or family or neighborhood or community or even friends. I give a lot of importance to skill development because it is with a skill that the student when she goes out of my college, she walks with an air of confidence, high self-esteem and very uh, confident that she will be able to handle any situation or handle any tough person around her. That is something which is very important for me and I want it to happen to all my students, each and every one. Any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students? Three things I would like to tell the current youth. Whether it's a woman or a man, whether it's a girl child or a boy child, the first and the foremost thing is make your knowledge base very powerful. And that happens while reading. Whether you read it on a Kindle or whether you read books, doesn't matter, but read. Read and empower yourself with knowledge. Second is knowledge is important, but when you are not wise, it doesn't really serve any purpose. So wisdom, develop that air of wisdom. Develop that skill of how to implement your knowledge into productivity. That's very important. And that happens from real field work experiences. So that is the third point which I want to advise you all about is do not allow any opportunity to be missed out when it comes to field work, work related to practical experiences, enriching yourself with knowing people around, knowing the work atmosphere around. So these three things in my opinion are very important. It was pleasure talking to you and interviewing your thoughts on education ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. And have a wonderful future ahead girls and boys. Namaste. I also want to give one more message. If at all you give me a little time. Uh, this nation is for you all my dear young girls and boys. This nation has given you freedom. Thousands of people have lived their lives uh, in, in you know, uh, getting independence. Let us be very true to the nation. As women, we are equal partners in the progress of this nation and the onus of taking care of this nature, uh, nation, its cultural heritage, its pride, its legacy lies on the shoulders of boys as well as girls. So let's keep nation first always in our mind. Jai. Thank you so much.